Hi Cancer, welcome to Terribly Accurate. This is your monthly reading for May 15th through June 15th. Now this could be in regards to your sun, moon, or rising sign. So if you are watching for the love portion of it, you might want to check out your moon sign as well. Did you just see that little orb? Cool. If you are watching in regards to career or finance, you might want to watch your rising sign. Um, or if you're concerned about how others perceive you, your rising sign as well for anything else. Your sun sign or you can watch all of them. doesn't really matter. Uh, if you're new, thanks for showing up. If you are returning, thanks so much for coming back. I appreciate that you subscribe and that you like the videos, that you leave me comments. I really appreciate all of that. So the way that we're going to do this is a little bit different. I'm taking out the week to week breakdown at the end. And the reason being is because these videos are way too long. And then also because we're doing a love reading every month. We're doing the general reading every month. But then I usually sprinkle in a couple of other things as well for you. So, and then we have the daily cards and color energies on Facebook. So there's just a lot of free tarot out there for you. And it's a lot of work for me. <laughs> so, um, we'll just go ahead and get started. Oh, I forgot to mention, I took out the health portion as well, just because it's fairly obvious and redundant. Okay, so here we go. What's going on for Cancer, Sun, Moon, and Rising in regards to career? Couple things, actually, just jumped right here out of the deck. I want to make sure, okay, I don't think I dropped anything else. I think this is all of them. And we'll get to those in a minute. As soon as I pull out a few more cards for you, Cancer, Sun, Moon, and Rising in regards to your career. What's the deal? Okay. So we start with the Ten of Wands. We move over to the Hermit, the Lover's card in reverse, and the Hierophant. So this could be taken a few different ways. Now, definitely putting a lot of effort and work in to your career or to your job. If you're a homemaker, um, making your house clean and beautiful and comfortable, that sort of thing. You're definitely putting in a lot of work. You might be overwhelmed by that. And unfortunately, you might feel like it's taking a really, really long time for the effort to pay off. Or it's just taking way too long to get a lot of the work done that you're actually putting in. You're working hard, but it's like each task takes so much longer than you want it to. Now, one thing that you might be running into is trouble in your partnerships at work. You might have a little bit of trouble. I feel like, let me get one more card for that one. Okay, the Knight of Cups. You just might not, okay, so this could go a couple different ways. You may not feel like you're connecting to people that you work with or people in your work environment. If you own your own business, maybe to your clients, you might be losing a little bit of enthusiasm for what you do and probably because you're overworking yourself. Um, but this could be coworkers as well. You might not feel as connected to them. You might not feel even very appreciated or emotionally fulfilled at your job. But things are very predictable. Things are by the book, and that stability is actually something that you can appreciate at this time. So what's your advice for May 15th through June 15th in regards to your career? How do you fix that little issue there with the people that surround you? The sun in reverse, and the two of wands. Okay, so you realize that maybe not all the time is going to be the best time. If you always went to work and you always were enthused to be there and you always loved being around the people that you're around, then you would never have a day where you said, wow, that was amazing, correct? <laughs> it's just peaks and valleys. You might be a little bit in a valley this, this month. But what it's saying is if you get to the bottom of that valley, though, if you feel like maybe this is like you can't come back up to the peak, if you feel like this isn't temporary, that you do want 
to look outside of where you are. You might want to start looking for another position. You can also stay and just wait for things to get better because this person is very assured that they will. This is telling you that this will resonate for you in one way or the other following your intuition. That's what this purple cape's all about. It's about your gut feeling when you hear this, okay? So whatever your instincts are telling you is the way that you should do it. But what it's saying is you need to really broaden your horizon and your mind. Really expand your options if you are thinking about leaving where you're at right now. Um, it's saying that things are stable though. And so you don't have to make quick decisions. It's just about thinking these through, not necessarily taking action, waiting, okay? But just sort of opening your mind. I hope that makes sense. Now, in regards to your finances, what's going on for Cancer Sun, Moon, and Rising for May 15th through June 15th? What do we have? A couple cards are just leaping right out here. Okay. Six of Swords in reverse, the Fool in reverse, and the Two of Pentacles. So in regards to your finances, it's not a time to make big moves financially. It's not a time to actually move home or change things up too much. It's definitely not the time to go on a vacation, to take risks with your money. This might be a time where you're struggling to get things balanced. It's not entirely, sometimes this card is all about imbalance. For you this time, this card is more representative of just kind of teetering on that edge of being where you want to be. You're stable so long as you don't do um, things that are reckless, as long as you don't take a trip on um, a whim. Some of you are going to be very, very tempted to do that, to take some time off, to go somewhere. Uh, it's not recommended this month if it's going to hurt your finances. Um, or if you're like, I think I can do it. I think it's going to work out. You're just going to be teetering right there on the edge of your budget. Um, so it doesn't indicate any peril or anything, but it just tells you be cautious this month. Now, in regards to your love life, Single Cancer, Sun, Moon, and Rising. What do we have? Knight of Cups. Someone may come right at you offering you some lovies. Or you might go towards somebody else, actually. is kind of the way that I'm reading this. You might be in pursuit of someone. And they are looking at you for the first time going, wow, that might actually be a good match. Now, whether or not they tell you that isn't exactly clear yet because we've only pulled these two cards, but they're noticing you. They're noticing you as having a lot to offer. So that's exciting if you're looking for love. Um, then we have the Justice card in reverse and the Two of Cups card in reverse. And I need to figure out if that's their energy, general energy, or yours. Okay, so this is in regards to any relationship that you might form with them. Now, both of you would be on a very different page about what a relationship would look like, about dating, about things like that. It doesn't mean that the relationship wouldn't work, but what I can tell you is that it would probably be unfair in regards to who gives, how much, and who receives. It, I feel like you would be offering them a lot more than they have to offer you, okay? It's like you would be more emotionally invested, and they would be like, well, that's a good idea, I think. Does that make sense? You might be chasing after a person who isn't really looking for a relationship, or maybe they are, but when they see you, maybe just wants to hump you, and that's it. Uh, so that's unfortunate, but the part that's not unfortunate about that is that good, because that's a waste of your time with this person because they're not your soulmate. They just aren't. So, um... 
I'm sorry, when this first card came out, I was like, yeah, but I don't think they're your soulmate. Now, like I said, it's a general reading, so it might not apply to everybody, but for the majority of you watching this, that might be the case. Okay, for Cancers who are coupled, what do we have going on? The Seven of Swords in Reverse. The Five of Swords in reverse. We have the Star as a challenge, which is a very Cancerian card, in my opinion. And the Death card in reverse. A lot of stability this month for Cancers who are already coupled. Um, Nothing to lose within this relationship. Nobody is going to lie to you, to abuse you, to take advantage of your trust, to take advantage of your kindness. Nobody's intending to hurt you. Um, your challenge this month is just to make sure that you remain balanced within this relationship and to still think about where you want it to go, what you want from the relationship, what uh, you love about it, what you want to bring more of into your relationship and things are just really stable they're not going to really change and that's actually a really good thing because this relationship doesn't seem unhealthy at least this month <laughs> so general advice for cancer sun moon and rising between may 15th and june 15th for the parts of this reading that were unfortunately a tad negative i can't lie to you because i would need it to be accurate um, otherwise what's the point right so let's see what your general advice is this month, Cancers. The star, whoa, in reverse. The Ten of Swords in reverse and the Wheel of Fortune. So what it's saying is not to give up on the things that you want, but also not to work way too free and hard. Don't put all of your energy into achieving what you want because sometimes the timing just isn't right. Sometimes you have to wait until divine timing is right. Sometimes it's not up to you, right? So you may be doing all of this work trying to achieve something, whereas if you didn't do the work and you just waited until next month, it would naturally come to you. And that's promised to you with the Wheel of Fortune card that things are going to change for the better. So that's your advice. Just focus on that. Know that you have blessings coming to you, but that sometimes you have to wait for them, for the timing to be right for you to receive them. So if you'd like a private reading or you need any clarity on anything going on in your life, my information is below in the description box. And otherwise, I'll see you soon. Bye.